chat with Dr. Chen. Welcome. Almost a dream girl, 21 writes, Dr. Jen, I'm a very beautiful woman, almost a perfect 10, but my breath stinks. What should I do? <laughs> wow. Sorry to hear that, almost a dream girl, 21. But ask yourself, when was the last time you've seen a dentist? Have you ever scheduled an appointment with a dentist? How about thinking and looking into having a consultation with a dentist? That would be very, very helpful. It sounds like you may have a tooth that's in your mouth or several teeth that are fighting for their lives. <laughs> they're in there fighting for their lives, but they're dead. And they need to be pulled out of your face so that you can have a life of fresh breath. Because clearly that's not your situation. So go and get those teeth pulled. Have you ever thought about a tongue scratcher? Maybe you need to pull those years and years and years and layers and layers and layers of stinky breath off your tongue. And I would say even go as far as getting a throat scratcher because sometimes your throat needs to be scratched because the fumes from your stomach is contaminating your breath. That's a real thing. So look into a throat scratcher to help scrape that first layer off. Um, also, you should probably be more quiet. Um, don't just uh, jump out there with your breath. Let people get to know you a little bit more, you know. Try or practice being mysterious, you know. You don't, you don't talk much. You're kind of quiet. Pete. You're reserved, very reserved. Um, let people get to know you before you just spring that breath on them, you know. <laughs> let that kind of be a surprise, okay. Because what I find out is that people that have breath conditions are the most outgoing. <laughs> guys, can you please keep it down? Can you please be quiet? No one's asking for the conversation that you guys keep putting on us. <laughs> you know, if we could avoid conversations with you guys all together, we would. So if you could, just talk less and nod and smile more if you can. If those dead teeth aren't in the front, smile more. And if, if they're in the front, just, if you will, if you will. Okay, let people get to know you before you spring that breath on them. And keep in mind that you're very fortunate. Okay, because there are a lot of people who only have pretty hair. And nobody's interested in anything they have going on. They only have pretty eyes and no one cares about anything else. Or maybe they can be a foot model. They have the most gorgeous feet you've ever seen. But nobody's interested in anything else they have to offer. Um, are you familiar with the butterhead? You know... Her body's banging, oh, but her head, you know. <laughs> her face is horrendous, and you wish you could just put a little bag on top of her head if it was legal and date her. But you don't date her. You just, you know, meet her at her house or meet her at, at night and stuff like that. So just be happy that you have that going for you. Um, yeah, so just take care of your breath. And like I said, try uh, talking less. And don't just bring that breath on people because... <laughs> That's killing your dating chances out here. And keep in mind that he gave you your breath, that breath condition to keep you humble. Because you kind of sound like you already think you're all that. Maybe a little bit of um, conceition going on there. A little bit conceited. So he gave you that breath to keep you here. Because <laughs> if not, you'd be out of control. <laughs> Go see a dentist and goggle with mouthwash two or three times a day, okay? Dr. Jack!